Please don't go in there. Good stop. I'll be live. Yes! Whoa. I always get it. I always think we're going live in like five minutes or something. Well, no, it's only like a seven second delay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Boo! Sorry we are doing our live. Rather half, late. Yeah, two and a half hours late and later than we normally would. Um, kind of found out today that I'm not as invincible, is that the word? That's the word you're using today. Uh, I don't know if it's the right word. Um, what? No one's invincible. But I don't know if it's the word that I'm you trying you to un- think of. You thought oh. you were untouchable. For untouchable, something. I guess. I, I, Which well, is still the same thing, but... I think I forgot for a while how... F- I wouldn't say fragile, but how easy and quick I go from being well to being sick. And it hit me like a ton of bricks today. Um, I'm sorry, my hair is annoying me. I really need a shower. But, I but you can still blame it on that spring roll. <laughs> That's what caused it. I think somewhat, yes. I swallowed it the wrong way, so that caused the problem. But I've had a build-up of mucus, so that needed to come out. Yeah. And it caused a quite severe asthma attack. and It was quite funny because I was actually vlogging at the time and I was explaining how me and John had had a conversation last night about how I don't want to say too much because that's part of tomorrow's vlog and they'll go up tomorrow night Um, but I was explaining how everything over the last month just kind of feels like it's not been real like we haven't really been there Um, it's just gone by so fast it's like like, did that really happen yeah, like I mean, we, I mean, we, we, I mean, we know what like happened. Been dreaming. I mean, we know what happened. It just seems unreal. Like yes. we've been dreaming. Um, and you know, the whole thing of like, say goodbye to John's dad, John's dad passing, the funeral, all of that. In fact, we flew to America and back, and I didn't get sick. And then all of a sudden, through talking about that and explaining all of this and explaining how. Everything just seemed unreal. And then all of a sudden, within minutes, seconds, that was it. I'd gone into a full-blown asthma attack. I was coughing loads and bringing up all the mucus and, and being sick. And I just had that smack in the face of just how vulnerably, not vulnerable, that's the wrong word, just how quick it can happen. How brittle me. it can be. Yeah, <laughs> but it's brittle asthma I have, so. Yeah. Um, but it was a slap in the face and I remember, I think it was our first live that Kirsty had asked me how do I keep so positive with my disabilities and my, my health and I tried to explain back then that I, I think the way I was brought up helped but there are so times yeah there are times that i get angry i do get angry and i get frustrated and today today is one of those days i feel very angry with myself because i couldn't get to the live to do the live at six o'clock i was too tired i was too poorly I just needed to try and lay down and sleep and I felt angry because I couldn't achieve something I wanted to achieve and I think that anger was escalated because of I'd already wiped two loads of vlogs because of being tired overtired from the hospital appointments and things like that and that was proper computer and it's glitched it but we'll explain that bit in a minute um so I, I don't know, I, sometimes you can't always feel positive. Today I do feel quite angry at myself because I didn't make the the goals, I guess, that I wanted to make. I didn't get to the points in the day I wanted to get. And 
Whereas some days I find that I can accept that and I understand it. Sometimes I find it frustrating and angry. I get angry with myself and then I get over it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. And I do know for me personally, some of that anger comes because there are people out there on the internet who make it seem like they can, I don't want to say too much here, but there are people out there that show it as if they could switch their help on and off. Hello, Kirsty. Hi, Kirsty. And I wish, I just wish I could do that sometimes. And then I could have made my life today and I could have finished my vlog today without getting sick on the camera and I... Does Hello, that, Charlene. Does that all make sense? It makes sense. So I think you're going to harm yourself, but you I, won't listen to that. I, I, maybe I am, and I think I'm just in that spell at the moment where I'm so tired that I'm angry and frustrated with myself, and I can't work out my own feelings right now. Does that make sense? Yeah. But. By the way, I just hit up for the Charlene. Oh. Anyway, I just wanted to, I, I will say hello in a sec, I just wanted to put that out there because I want, I remember Kirsty saying, how do I keep positive? There are times I can't, and today is just one of those days, I am angry with myself, I am frustrated. But I will get over that hurdle and I will push through past it, and probably tomorrow I'll be back to my normal bouncing You'll be self. bouncing off the wall. <laughs> but there are times I do kind of crack, I guess. It and it's happened. fine. Every, it everybody has those moments, and it's normal. Um, so yeah, that's my rant. Wind over, and I'll say hello now. <laughs> hi, Kirsty. Hi, Charlene. Hello, everybody else. Um, so, two vlogs I'm missing. Uh, Monday or Tuesday? That'll be right, right? Yes. One Monday and Tuesday. So the vlogs that would have gone up Tuesday and today. What happened? Oopsie doopsie moments, really. <laughs> uh, I was really on. On. Uh, Let's see. Yesterday, I had hospital appointments. So I was really, really super tired. And then we, we'd be home late, so mm -hmm. I, I thought the rest went up. So I wasn't able in the morning to edit the vlog to get it up on yesterday because I was super busy during the day with wheelchair services, hospital appointment for my hearing and, and stuff like that and then when I got home I was so super tired I messed up something on the computer well I thought I messed up something on the computer turns out I may not have um, when I copied everything from the little card on the, the SD card, the SD card from, the on, from the camera to the laptop I didn't copy everything and then I deleted it off the card and then realized I hadn't actually copied it all so I lost all the videos. I have the photos from the, uh, yeah. the garden, but I don't have any of the videos from the two days of vlogging. No, it seems like actually it may not have been just my mistake. It seems like there was something wrong with the card or Windows. Windows, I think, did it because I ran through simply deleting a file. 99.9% of the time, you can get that file back because you're just telling the computer to forget where the file is. The actual file is always there until, until you put a file on top of it. So it's always recoverable. I ran my suite of normal data recovery software and none of them found anything. They found the photos. Yeah, I was glad to find the photos back too. But not the videos. Did you put the photos over to the Broadbility Facebook page? Not yet, no. Okay, well we'll do that later before we go to sleep tonight. Um, it, uh, it was photos of the Abbey Garden. We will explain what we've done over the last two days so that it all makes sense. Yeah, but um, for some reason, you, you, when you accidentally told the computer to delete it, it did more than that. It destroyed it. So maybe I've destroyed the SD card? No, I, I don't think so. I just think... Oh, I forgot to ask you, the SD card that was up on the top of your computer there, that was the one for the camera, right? Because that's the one I put in today. No, it's not. Um, oh, I hope that one's okay to use. Yeah, it's okay to use. <coughs> There's not much storage spot on it. 
there. The actual one you're supposed to use. I don't put the camera up. I wouldn't have been able to reach that one anyway. It's, that's the actual one that actually. So the photo, so all the photos, there's any photos you don't have, let me know, because they're all still recoverable. No, I've got all the photos. Right. So what did you miss? So what we recorded on... Oh, By the way, Kirsty said she has days like that. I, I, I have days like that that you just have. Yeah, no, I think we all do. And that's why I felt it was important to sort of share that I'm feeling it because yes i do seem positive and happy a lot of the time but there are days i do i get really angry and upset with myself and you find those days with me difficult don't you because you don't know how to it's not i don't know how to there's nothing i can say because you are because of the way you are and i say this is wrong you cope with things your way and no matter what I say it doesn't, it doesn't do anything <laughs> I can say all the credit in the world but it's like but I need to do it my way but yeah I'm just not beating yourself up about it <laughs> but I gotta no you don't have to do it your way that's that, that, that's the only thing that makes it difficult because literally there's nothing I can do or say I'd say it's more you can't say because you do do you're like you'll come and hug me and just yeah. make me feel more comfortable in that way sort of thing but what we have done over the last two days so the first actual day of vlogging that is missing would be the one that would have gone up on Tuesday so that would have been Monday's vlog actually we didn't record that much at all so you haven't missed that much um, I had started to tell you some of the contact that Delta had made with us. Now, I don't want to talk about that on the live today because we've had more contact with them since and I feel that deserves its own vlog yeah. right. So I think that's important to put it into its own. They have, what I will say is they have really reached out to us. They have made a big gesture of goodwill and- And they're working with and us. And they're working with us. all we're gonna say here. And it's going to be a long term working with us as well. So yes. that's all. We'll leave it there. And I will do a separate vlog for that to bring that all up. Um, and then I was showing you how I got was getting on with these legs. Because if you remember on the one that went up on Monday, I believe. That went up Monday, yeah. That I was doing on Sunday. We were doing on Sunday. I said I was leaving this to dry with just the three layers to see if it stuck. It stuck really well. I mean, if you have ever felt a... Um, cat scratching post this is what this feels like it's really rough so the um yarn has gone really stiff and it's stuck really well so um on monday for tuesday's vlog i started working on some more of it but then back pain got yeah, to me to um so i had to sort of i did three rows and i had to give in for the night and or for the day and resort to bed for the day because I knew the following day I was going to have a lot of appointments so I rested for the day so that's all I achieved that day but while I was on the bed I started a new project with this awesome multicolored yarn and I started learning to crochet now when I went originally showed you this I did not have it this long I had like two little lines of it um and I've only just started learning to do this since Monday. Yeah. Monday, yeah. So it's not great. <laughs> um, I had to learn my own way because obviously when you're crocheting, you're supposed to hold the tool hook with this hand. And then you're supposed to hold your work between this finger and your thumb. No, this finger and your thumb. And the wall is supposed to like wrap around this finger somehow. And I can't physically do that. So what I could do is hold the work with this hand, the tool with this hand, and then when I'm on the bed, I can wrap this around my toes. <laughs> so it sounds Ingenuity weird. for you. Ingenuity. <laughs> it sounds really weird, but it works. And yeah, I've been able works. to learn to crochet, even though my left hand doesn't like to twist around properly without force. Um, and obviously wool, you know, if it was wood, I could force my hand around wood. I can't force my hand around wool. Um, so, yeah. I'm hey, learning. Abby. And this one's nice because I can do this while resting on my bed, which is, I quite like crafts like that, don't I, when I can do something on my bed while resting. 
because I don't know about anybody else, but when I'm resting on my bed, I get bored. I'm one of these people that I need to keep my mind occupied. Just because my body doesn't work doesn't mean my head doesn't work. And I have to keep my mind occupied. You get stir crazy. I do. I get so stir crazy. So that's pretty much all that was missing from that one vlog that was on Monday's vlog that would have gone up Tuesday. Um, who did you just say hello to? Dad? Abby. Hi, Abby. Um, so the big vlog, um, which probably upset me the most for losing, was yesterday. What we got up to yesterday. So I went. We. I went. We went. We went all the way to West Suffolk Hospital uh, to get my hearing looked at again because my hearing aids I have. I've not liked wearing those ones since I've got them. Um, there's something different with them compared to the other ones. Instead of being able to put one on T and one on just sort of near sound, you have three, I've always had three settings where I could have near sound, far sound and T, which T is when you go into certain places like you can go to the bank or you can go to the theatre. When they talk into the mic, it goes directly into your hearing aid. And some TVs and phones work with the T as well. My T was not working on my hearing aid. And the big thing that irritated me with them, I always used to like having one set to one setting and one set to another setting. And these hearing aids I have at the moment, they listen to each other. So when you set one, they both set to the same thing. Yeah, I can bring that about getting it. It's still the pain. <laughs> so... We went and had, went to the hearing place in the hospital, found out I'm as deaf as always, and <laughs> in two to, they took moulds, how did they do the moulds? Um, it, won't, well, it was kind of like almost epoxy, but it wasn't epoxy, it was like modeling clay of the hardener that they mixed it up together, put it in like this strange glass syringe. Was it glass? Yeah, I think it was a lot. Or maybe it was plastic. I really can't tell you what it was. It was clear. <laughs> I think it was glass. I just know it felt like I was underwater when they put it in me. <laughs> yeah. And then they put like a little cotton in here to make sure it, it wouldn't go too far. Mm -hmm. And then this kind of just went around and just formed it through the ear. And within like five minutes they had set, took them out, and then they'll use that to make molds for my new hearing aids. Uh, or for the earpiece of it. And I get... I'm going to get a full new set, full new hearing aids and ear molds for both ears and they'll be ready in two to three weeks time so I should have them in time to go back to America with. Yep. Um, and then from the hospital we decided to go to the Abbey Gardens because I love the Abbey Gardens. I grew up around the Abbey Gardens so I have a lot of happy memories from the Abbey Gardens. Um, Although we did try and find my uncle at, while we were at the hospital because he's a paramedic, but he yeah. wasn't there, so he missed out on saying hello to us. And night. Um, so we went to the Abbey Gardens and we took some video of us in the Abbey Gardens with the flowers and the squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> the, the crazy squirrel running around. It kind of got quite close to us at times. It didn't did, it? yeah, at one time, yeah. Um, and I took a load of photos, and I'm glad I took the photos now too because I lost all the video yeah. footage. <laughs> um, so there was a lot of footage of all of that because we also stopped at Greg's. Yes. Because we hadn't eaten, and it got to like four o'clock meds, and neither of us had eaten. So we had to go and sort something out before my sugars went. And obviously, with him being diabetic, you know, we needed to go and get something to eat. And even if you weren't diabetic, at four o'clock, you really need to eat something yeah. by then. Um, so we went to Greg's, and I remember that footage, actually, because it was quite funny, because at first, I took my hearing aids out because the music was annoying me. It was so loud. And they were like, well, I can record, but the, the music would do copyright. So you're like, I yeah, so record and do a voiceover. Yeah, I recorded bits, and I knew I was going to have to do a voiceover because the music was so loud. And... That's kind of interesting because normally I wouldn't pick up on how loud background music is until I'd come home and listen to it on the computer. And then I'd work out, oh, I can't use that because that will be copyrighted. Yeah. Because the background music. 
Whereas actually when I was in Greg's, because I had my hearing aids in, I heard how loud the music was there and I knew I couldn't use it. So I specifically was recording certain things that I could voice over on. But I got so annoyed with the music, I just took my hearing aids out and put them on the table. And also hope the speaker is right above your head. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's probably right. why it was so <laughs> loud, the speaker was already above your head. But they had this really cool table that was actually tall enough for my wheelchair, which yeah. was nice, because normally I really struggle in Greg's. And then um, Mr. Bossy over here was like, I was really excited <laughs> to go to the Gabby Gardens and see the flowers. And Mr. Bossy was like, right, you need to stay here and let your tummy settle from what from the uh, sausage roll you've just eaten. He made me wait. He made me wait and let my tummy settle so I didn't get sick. I mean, how boring. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we have a chat update. Mm hmm? So we have a chat update. We do. Yeah, we got three things. Oh, okay, go for it. I always said I love resting in my bed, but I don't get bored because I don't stop eating. <laughs> ah, but then you're eating. So eating is your um your thing your to your activity you like to do to keep yourself occupied. Yep. Kirsty says I'm going to be doing decoupage, which is when you layer pictures on top of each other. Yep. Yep. Stacy does that quite a bit. It's good fun. is like we all have, we, we, we all have to find our own unique way of doing things. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Happy. How dare he not let you get sick? <laughs> Tongue sticking out. But I caught it all on the camera and I was like doing this like silly kind of moping fed up board sort of thing <laughs> and um, being silly and it's all gone and I kind of deleted and, and, it all. And, and I was like, ah, oh, fine, we could go. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went and had fun in the Abbey Gardens. Although we didn't get ice cream because the ice cream lady in the ice cream van would only take cash. cash and not card and we don't tend to carry cash on us so that was not such a good thing I mean how dare no. she not take card <laughs> so yeah I think more than anything it was the whole we yesterday's footage that annoyed me that I yeah. lost and um, I don't know I think it's my feelings at the moment of being frustrated and angry with myself is just the build up of everything losing all the footage and then i got sick and i couldn't achieve what i wanted to achieve today in multitudes of ways and i had to call john home from work to put me on the nebulizer and everything and you do you get ooh, angry <laughs> yourself and it's all right, as long as you don't let it hold you down. Yeah. Oh, pick myself back up. I always do. <laughs> you picking me up for me. Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. So, oh, and the other thing I wanted to show you, can I show him the top of the table? Sure. You might need, need a bit of your help. I think I might be able to get it out of Ready? First is, yeah. So that's what it looks like. Now this is the, oh sorry, this is the tabletop. Um, like Kirsty was saying about the do coupage, I put plain piece of paper down and then I've added lots of extra butterfly pieces and just built it up. Um, which without getting the actual little camera and putting it up close you're not going to see so I'll try and do that with the little camera and then you can actually if when you're up close you can see all the little pictures of the butterflies um, take the um, keyboard to the keyboard shows up or not. I'm sure not.
you got chocolate over your keyboard. How have you got chocolate over your keyboard? I don't know what that is. He has chocolate oh, on his keyboard. Oh, don't show my keyboard. That's definitely chocolate on his keyboard. <laughs> Keep it up. So that's the top of my table with the butterflies. On the bottom, I'm painting it green. And then on the sides, I'm going to do... Oh, if I can get it. I'm going to do these colours on the side of the table. And then all four legs are going to be done this all the way down and then that'll be it and someone just threw the table away so yeah Kinda. so curse is like i get frustrated with my health at the moment i was like john pick me up too please this is also like i like you to the uh, tabletop See, I wonder whether it's the weather not helping all of us maybe if all of us are kind of feeling a bit like blah Maybe uh, the weather's just not helping either. Could be. Abby also said, my mom loves butterflies. She would love it. <laughs> Kirsty says, Stacy, I bet that took you ages to do the top of the table. Took you, what, an hour, hour and a half? A couple of hours. A couple hours, yeah. yeah. That's all it took. It's taken longer, believe it or not, to do, to do that this. One, yeah. um, but then I think that's because it's twining something and I don't have such steady hands. Whereas that is just gluing bits on. Um, and you got to remember, I have John helping me. So John helps cut things out and kind of... Like I help you scrape the top of the table off. Yeah, you help me scrape the top of the table off. Because I damaged my finger. Which finger was it? Oh, it was those two. Yeah. I tried to cut my fingers open. With a butter knife. knife. Yeah, with a butter knife. I talentedly... It's only tiny little cuts the tiniest little baby cuts in the world um but with a butter knife i kept doing that so i was like okay i best stop <laughs> you kept drawing blood with a butter knife <laughs> and, and, and then i got the heavier weapon calling in the chisel yeah I, I don't think it would have been wise to let me loose, loose near that no i wouldn't have even go with you that was that would be too sharp because i would take it with you slipping and that would easily hurt you pretty good yeah so over the next couple i i do have a few things i want to sort of discuss with you I, we want to update you with what's going on with delta tomorrow's vlog i'm really not sure what to do with it because i started talking to you about one thing i need to actually finish it off tomorrow's vlog being what today it's basically i need to finish it off because i never got to the point i was trying to talk to you about and that is about the fact that one of my carers that I'm really like get on really well with, I had to say goodbye to her today because it was her last day tomorrow, but I won't see her tomorrow. And how that can impact us when we lose a carer that you form a very good bond with. That's what I wanted to talk to you about on our, my vlog today. I never got to that part before I had an asthma attack on the camera. And I don't know yet how comfortable I feel about putting that into a vlog whether i want whether i feel comfortable to actually show me going from talking happily to actually just going into an asthma attack and it's not all right in front of the camera because i went to the bathroom to get tissue because i was coughing up the mucus so i went to go get the tissue to cough it into and so some of it's off camera but you can hear if that makes sense you can hear what's happening and it's also calling me yeah and there's the phone work. call to you and you can hear the distress in the phone call to, to john because i couldn't talk to him i was just coughing at him and struggling to breathe um but i had that choice to make either call john or call an ambulance and my my first choice is always to call john because if he can if he can get home he can get here quicker than an ambulance and then I don't have to worry about going to the hospital. Um, and also, I knew the way she was sounding. I just could tell she was an asthma attack, so I was basically say, you have an asthma attack. So that she, you, you did something that acknowledged it. I forgot. I think I kind of grunted. <laughs> yes. Um, I was like, you need to be home now. I was like, yeah. But they acknowledged that that's what the, just like, yeah, I'll be, be there ASAP, told the manager, and just drove home. Yeah, and if he hadn't picked up the phone straight away, 
I would have called an ambulance because that would have been the only option. But I don't know how comfortable I feel to put that into the vlog. I will see when I'm editing it because I had an aim to film that. That just happened. Does that make sense? It makes, yeah. Well, it, it, it's, it's obviously you did a play to get sick. No. And, and that's the thing too is a lot of what you can hear is me being sick as in get I, I, that mucus is coming out at me with force and um, me struggling to breathe and it can sound really scary to people who don't understand it and don't know it it sounds really scary but I live with it all the time you know I go through that most mornings and, and I, I'm used to it um, but it's not something I would get the camera out and record. It just happened to be I was already talking to the camera and I went into one. Um, but that's brittle asthma. It can, one minute you can be absolutely fine, the next minute, ping, you've gone. Um, and it is the big difference between brittle asthma and just asthma. Well, Abby's like, I've done that with a barrel knife, cutting fruit, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that can harm themselves with a button knife. <laughs> and Kirsch is like, you could do a craft vlog. Yes. We did one Sunday, didn't we? Yeah. Kind of. I mean, it wouldn't be separate. Cause it just takes so long to record, edit, and get it published. You wouldn't want to do additional vlog on top of what we were doing. Would yeah, you? no. Um... I think what I'm saying is I don't know what to do about today's vlog because that should go up tomorrow. I think I need to look at what I've recorded already, actually record what I wanted to say, which I might not do tonight, I might do it first thing tomorrow because I'm, I'm really, really tired. I'm going to recommend it. You're not going to record for something like that. I'll put it my phone Okay, down. well tomorrow morning I will finish recording what I wanted to say today so that I can put it up tomorrow. And then tomorrow's vlog I'm going to record, which will go up on... Friday? Yes, if you call it tomorrow. I want to Friday. explain what's going on, what, where we, where we're at with Delta, and then hopefully, finally, Friday I can record, which will go up on Saturday, if I'm getting my days right. Yeah, you get, get it right now. I finally want to record about the universal credit. Um, everybody's exchanging over to universal credit, which is making housing benefits pan, not housing benefits, housing associations panic. And they're asking tenants to do something stupid. And I want to inform people that you don't have to do this request. I received it. We received a letter, didn't we, from yeah. Howell Housing. And we've already fought it and said we're not doing it. And I want to inform you guys of your rights and the laws that protect you from having to do this. So in the meantime, before I get that one done up at the weekend, if your landlord is contacting you because you're on housing benefit and saying you have to pay so like three, four weeks rent in advance because of whatever reason they give you. It's just because they're panicking of the switch over to Universal Credit, you do not have to pay them. Unless you're just moving into that property, then that's different. But if you've been in that property a while, whether it's a couple of months or a few years or several years, you do not need to be paying them. And I will explain all of that in that video and I will explain the laws that protect you and everything. So. That's a really important one for me personally to be able to get that one across, but I need to be not as tired. So my main goal for the next two days at least is to sleep a bit more. <laughs> yep. Abby is like, my teacher in high school cut his finger with safety scissors whilst demonstrating what to do. I think they should be what not to do, not what to do. That reminds me of something I did in school that I shouldn't have done. What did you do? I had, um, you know, glue sticks, prick sticks, we call yeah. them, but the glue sticks. And we were in a maths lesson, so I can't remember why we had a glue stick in a maths lesson, but we were doing <laughs> something in maths that resulted in us needing glue. And I think I must have been in about year seven or year eight. And I can't, I can't think for the life of me why we had glue, but it was definitely a maths lesson. And the teacher had asked me to pass 
the glue on to the person in front of me. Uh -oh. And I was so involved in what I was doing. I was having so much fun with what I was doing. And I'm the kind of person that when I'm kind of thinking on what I'm doing, I don't think about the other thing I'm doing. So I literally picked up the glue. I'm watching what I'm doing. And I just threw the glue stick. <laughs> <laughs> it went past the person in front of me, hit the tie of the T-shirt. <laughs> I got sent out of the class. My bad. Uh, she also said, I need to catch up on your blogs. I need to dispense with that bad that headache. <laughs> blogs, grr, autocorrect. <laughs> Don't worry. I even say get confused between blogs and blogs, and I have to say it. <laughs> That's probably because we started off by blogging. We started off by writing. But we found that too difficult. You know, Abby, this um next table kind of concerns me here. What? I'm not sure what to think about this, but what? I'm gonna say it anyway. We used to use glue sticks in mass a lot. I used to sit smelling it as it smelled like marzipan. <laughs> You're not supposed to sniff glue sticks. Any kids watching, you do not sniff the glue sticks. <laughs> but it was safety glue. She, she, she has happy faces. <laughs> it was safety glue. But that's like, you know, it was sniff pens, but they had the pens that are, are I know, we got me some, didn't we? They're and they, you can smell these pens. They're very yeah, they, 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 they have their frequencies are like felt tips and crayons and pens well, and Well, these are the one we got me with gel pens so that I could do the little details on my cards and stuff. Yeah. I was like, yeah, make it a... I'm, I'm, I'm glad I don't have glue in it. I'm going to turn the fan to me because I'm getting off. We're going to turn the fan! That fan needs to clean. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. Finish that vlog tomorrow, and then I can decide. Once I get to sleep tonight, I can say. Yes. Although I need a shower. Are we showering me tonight or tomorrow? Whenever you want. I don't know what I want. You sleep want, is the main thing. Oh, I want. you want to sleep right now. That's what mm. you want. You just want to sleep from England, Ireland, France. The world. I, I, I think I forget how tiring hospital appointments are, even simple ones like hearing, they are tiring. Hospital appointments are exhausting. I saw a big chunk of writing go up. Yeah, uh, did you ever have the scented erasers that when you rub stuff out, you can make a new one? Uh, no. I, I, I'm intrigued I, now, though. Um, Hobbycraft have got loads of artist uh, artist loft things, and if you spend twenty pounds or more, you can pick it up from store or get it delivered. How is Misty? Um, I need to check out Hob uh, Hobbycraft for the artist loft stuff. I think it's still cheaper in America, but obviously we can't keep going to America. I haven't yet been able to try my watercolors. Um. I want to try that before I go buy any more. The oil colours I'm not going to be able to try until I get the oil based stuff that I need to work with them. But it's the watercolours we mostly wanted anyway. But I bought myself a palette for a couple of quid. Like a wooden palette to put the watercolours on. So, but again I'm waiting so I'm not so tired to do that. But tiredness has really kicked my butt the last few days hasn't it? And I think that's just... My body's now starting to go, right, you've won this fight with Delta, you've won this, you're back from America, now is the time you can stop, now's the time you need to rest, now's the time that we're not going to let... time to cry. Yeah, now's the time we're not going to let you move any of your joints anymore, <laughs> so it's kind of... My body's just sort of telling me to bugger off, basically. <laughs> but I think... Misty, Misty, how's Misty doing? Misty is, oh, I had such good footage of Misty last, yesterday as well, and I lost all of that. He was so cute. He had 
He's doing his protective of me again, and he keeps, he'll come in and meow and get angry when I'm not on the bed, although he's not doing it at the moment, he's out. Um, and he cuddle up to me on the bed to the point of he's that close to me I can't move <laughs> like this morning I had to ask you to come and move him because he'd laid himself across my chest and he was getting so heavy I was struggling to breathe but he, he was just that a lot, not a lot from time to time yeah he just gets very protective and sometimes the protectiveness can be a bit too much you know, I love him dearly, but sometimes I need to be able to breathe, <laughs> or I need to move my arm, <laughs> or, you know, wiggle my nose or something, and he just gets upset if I move, so I have to get intervention. <laughs> it's normally along the lines of going, John! I was like, I, 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 I want to sleep. Too, but then I won't sleep when I go to bed. I'm getting exhausted just visiting the hospital, let alone the mental strength of being anxious of the actual appointments. I think I'm talking gobbledygook. No, you're not. Uh, that's what I was trying to say is I think, I mean, I forgot how tiring hospital appointments are because I don't have so many of them now because my I've had my conditions for so long that I'm not at the like beginning stages of being treated for it I'm at the continuing the treatment stage if that makes sense so I have like my yearly or or six monthly reviews and that's it I'm not having regular 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 um, things and sometimes I don't get seen for a couple of years for certain conditions um, so I forget sometimes how tiring hospital appointments are. So like yesterday in particular, all I did was, I say all we did, all I did. Uh, in the morning we had wheelchair services come out to give my chair a check over because we've got a few things wrong with it that need fixing before we go. And then we've got, we went to the hospital for my hearing. And then we always do something good after hospital appointments. So that hospital doesn't become a negative thing. Does that make sense? That makes sense, yeah. Because I kind of, I have a fear of hospitals. I don't like going to hospital. So if we add something good there, it's like a positive to the negative, if that makes sense. I, I hate going to hospital. If I can avoid going to hospital, I'll avoid it. Um, <laughs> I'm awful. I hate hospital. It's boring. It's boring being in hospital. Um, I'm just like, can I... Can I just have Misty? He's too cute. No. As much, don't get me wrong, he does frustrate me sometimes when he's OTT, but I adore him. I absolutely adore him. I love him to pieces. And unless I would want, miss, uh, I miss him when we go away. Unless you want to catch it for us. <laughs> yeah, we need to find out if your friend can catch it this time. Yeah. We're trying to find someone to look after Misty while we are away in a, in a month's time now, isn't it? A month no, and a bit? Six weeks. Six weeks, yes. It's, it's still like four or two days. Yes. Because the person who, our friend that looked after Misty for us while we went to America last time, her MS is too advanced now. She struggled, so... We need to find somebody else who can look after Misty. And we don't want, we don't want somebody to keep coming into our flat. No, 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 we no. don't want to leave the windows open going yeah. away for so long and going away to America. And we can't go to the carer, the, uh, to the, the cat sitter that normally looks after him because she lives across the road. So it's too close. He'd be coming back here and meowing trying to find us. So... Hopefully your friend could take him in. No, uh, I would say, well, I would have kept sit, but... Uh, your dog might chase Misty, the, and Misty the, might chase your dog. But the <laughs> Bash Bash might scare him. Bash Bash is a dog. I forgot that part. <laughs> they could be chasing each other. My coffee is smoked as well. I crossed the room. The comeback coffee! Comeback coffee. 
my crafts are still all over the place behind us, slowly getting worse. <laughs> I just haven't had the strength to try to sort it through. Well, hopefully it's not by the shed soon. I think it's ending like tomorrow. Before we were watching it, but no, I'm left it. Chris is like, I will offer to help, but I'm ready to cap, sorry. <laughs> Do you know what it, it actually surprises me how many people are actually allergic to cats. And um, there's a couple of my carers that are allergic to cats and it makes me kind of feel bad that they can't, they have to take a tablet, an allergy tablet to come in here and care for me because I have Misty. And it's like my mum, my mum's allergic to cats, but when my mum comes, we always like clean the house up, give it a good hoover, brush and mop, and we put Misty in a separate room, and you know, and she still is affected to a certain extent, but the carers don't tell me they're allergic to Misty, so we don't keep him separated. If, and then they tell you like months later, and you're like, well, why didn't you say something? We would have kept him in a separate room. and. They're like, no, 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 because like, we see other clients with cats as well, and uh, it uh, makes me how many people are. Abby says, actually, the dog would probably be scared of Misty. <laughs> and Chris is that it's because of my asthma. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I do get that, because Misty doesn't affect me because we keep everything cleaned. You know, we, we, we this... The flat is brushed several times, like twice a day we brush the floor and it's mopped at least once if not twice a day and the hoover goes around quite regularly. Yeah. I mean our house is cluttered but it's not dirty if that makes sense. Um, and it's not a house, it's a flat. Huh? Um, it's, it's, it's a home, it's a house, it's whatever you want to call it. That's why it's cluttered, it's homely. <laughs> um, but when he is starting to molt, that time in the summer where he starts to molt his winter coat off, that affects me, doesn't it? We have to keep yeah. brushing him through to get rid of it as quick as we can because, oh, yeah, that gets to me. Um, and then, like when we went to Kim's, my cousin, we went to hers and her dog's hair affected me. And I thought that was really strange because I can go home to the farm and the dog at the farm doesn't affect me but then he's not inside the house he's outside the house yeah so it's it, it probably like cats if, if you have short hair or long hair or pretty yes. the dog is the same thing to you it's long hair dogs are going to affect you or short hair wouldn't because short hair just doesn't get to you or, or short hair doesn't and, affect and some you people short hair would even affect yeah what well, well, i was saying so some people sh sh short short hair affects you, some people long hair affects you, some... And, and that's the one thing with asthma is different things will trigger trigger you. Like some people with asthma can't um, deal with things like aerosprays. Like you know how I, ca I can deal with a tiny bit of deodorant, Yeah. but if it's a lot I, that sets me into an asthma attack. But I can't deal with things like um, polish or the oven spray and things yeah. like that. So, which, that's something else I tried. When did, what day did I do that and set myself off? That would be Monday. I tried to clean the oven and I sprayed the, most of the muscle in it and set myself into an asthma attack. And the stupid thing is, I knew I would do it. I knew that that sets my asthma off. I knew I shouldn't have done it. But I was annoyed that it was dirty and I wanted to clean it, so... I was being a stubborn bugger. When when I'm in a funny mood, once my head's in a funny place, I start doing stubborn things. It's okay. almost like I have to prove to myself that I'm not going crazy or something. <laughs> so, well, should we call it a night so I can go sleepy guys? Yes, we can. Do you want to say sorry that we didn't get a vlog up yesterday and? We didn't get one today and we can't get them up because I lost the footage. Um, I will make use of the photos by getting them onto Facebook because they were quite pretty photos. Yes, they were. Um, and we are going to go back to the Abbey Gardens at some point anyway. 
in the, summer, in the next couple of weeks. And in the meantime, I'm going to work on the vlogs as usual, and we will get back into our normal routine of vlogging. And yeah, just thanks for being so understanding and, and as cool as you all are. And uh, yeah, so we will see you tomorrow. We totally failed on that one, didn't we? We both did, yeah. Good fail. <laughs> Alright, so, yes, you we, finish it. So, yep, yeah, we will see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you for joining us in our crazy world. world. Bye. Bye.